Okay, good morning, Charlie, ZL2CTM. Right, um, there was uh, a comment or a suggestion made in the comments for the previous or the first video that um, I look at changing the turns ratio of T3. Um, and the suggestion was uh, maybe start with an 8 8 and then reduce the collector side a link at a time to see what impact that would have on power. So that's exactly what we'll do. Um, so what I've here, I've got a little chart that will fill out as we go along. Uh, like I say, we'll start with 8 to 8, and then we'll go with 7 to 8, so this is the collector side, this is our, our dummy load side, um, and then we'll reduce down and see how far we go. Um, that should be producing, or more the point, um, giving to the collector to collector. For 8 to 8 will be 50 ohms, 7 to 8 will be 38, and then down we go. Uh, progressively smaller in terms of the, um, the the resistance that's being presented to the collector to collector. Right, so all things being equal, we currently have an 8 to 8 turn in. Um, I think for simplicity, uh, for simplicity, I'm just going to leave the camera probably over here looking at the um, oscilloscope. That gives me room to pull links out. Um, I've got a little spreadsheet made up where we can just throw in how many divisions we see. Um, and then uh, that will spit out, say we're doing the calculator, um, spit out our power which we can then record. So right, so all things being equal, um, this is following on from video number two, so um, I've left in that um, diode biasing and I think we are good to go, 13.8 volts, so let's just key that. Um, and there we have, oh, we got a bit of focus there, uh, there we have our um, our 250 milliwatts in, and let's just start counting what we get there, so close enough, so that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 divisions, so 5 divisions gives us 6.24 watts out, so 6.24, right, just going to pause here, and I'll take a link out, and we'll come back. Okay, we're back again, we've now got 7 to 8, so let's just key it up. So that is now 7 to 8, and I think we're getting a slight increase there in, let me just bring that up to cut the bottom, so we'll go with the peak, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 point, ooh, we're on the side of the side low, so 5.1, 5 5.1, so 5.1 gives us 6.5, 6.5. So we've gained another 300 milliwatts there. So let's unkey that, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so we're back in. We now have um, six to eight turns. So same input. And I think we will run with, I think we actually have to go down subtly. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call that at two, four, five divisions. So five divisions, which brings us back to 6.24. 6.24 watts. Right, let's unkey that and um, we'll come back with 5 to 8. Right, eight, so we're back now with a turns ratio of 5 to 8. Uh, I'll just key that up. Let me just lower that down to, I would say, about there. Oh, up a tit, sorry. Let's just focus. Right, so my reading there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4.5. 4 4.5. So 4.5 gives us 5 watts on the output, pretty well on the dot. So we've gone past the sweet spot, the sweet spot was obviously 7 to 8. Um, I'll go down one more to 4 to 8 and then um, I can't see it magically getting better after that. So back in a sec. Okay, so hang on. we're back again now with a ratio of 4 to 8. So that's 4 to 8, same input quarter watt coming in and what are we getting there uh, let's go with uh, 1, 2, 3, 3.7 so 3.7 divisions 3.7 gives us 3.4 watts 3.4 watts so I think based on that um, probably won't go any further in terms of reducing links so let me just um, jump down to here so that's what we basically got there so um, 8 to 8 with 6.24 watts for our 250 milliwatts in and we can see there at the sweet spot the highest point there was with a ratio of 7 to 8 
Um, I guess if you particularly wanted to, you could try increasing that up to, you know, many more turns on the secondary to get a finer grade. But um, in terms of actually trying to squeeze the, the wire into the the, uh, the binocular core, that's probably about right. Anyway, so seven to eight seems to be uh, the best option. Um, producing six point five and interesting enough. Um, with our 6.24, that's interesting, because the uh, the previous video, uh, I'm not quite sure which the sequences when I put them up, because this one's in addition to the one I just did this morning, um, had for a 5 to 5, um, we were getting 7.5 watts, which theoretically is the same turns ratio. Um, but that one there is slightly better. So I might actually look at that 38 ohms, what it means in terms of the, uh, the, uh, the power formula, and uh, I'll just come back. So um, I just had a bit of a play around with um, the load um, formula. So RL, which is our load formula, is typically VCC minus VSAT squared over 2 times power out. Uh, if we make um, power out the subject, then we can basically solve for power out given a, an RL. Um, based on, and so this will clearly be a video that I'll put up after the one I did this morning, because these are all the notes from this morning's notes. If we uh, go back from our our uh, conclusion this morning that um, the 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 resistance to use for each side of a push-pull amplifier using parallel devices would appear to be the collector to collector impedance divided by two. So I use the exact same logic here. Um, we're just trialing out there that seven to eight turns ratio. So seven to eight turns ratio we will give us our 50 ohms will be then transformed to 38 ohms. So now we can solve for our power out. So VCC squared, which is 13.8, minus VSAT, so half a volt for the BD139 squared, divided by two times that 38 ohms collected the collector, divided by two. In other words, what's being presented to each collector or each side of the push-pull amp comes out about 4.6 watts. So that's 8, um, 9.2 I think it is. So 9.2 total. Um, so that's still in the ballpark of what we were getting this morning. So I think as a, as, there's obviously some inefficiencies here, but suffice to say um, that still seems to be a reasonably close way of getting into the ballpark to then start playing around in terms of working out what the um, turns ratio may need to be to get a certain power out. Anyway, so um, hopefully that was useful. Um, and uh, like I said on the uh, the video that I put up just before this one I did this morning, um, next steps will be to work on the um, the antenna amplifier. Anyway, 73 is all. Um, hopefully that was useful. Um, interesting. And uh, all good fun. Okay, cheers all.